Welcome back to Primetime News. And if you're watching online at onespotmedia.com, a very special welcome to you. Thanks for joining us. We begin this evening with news that the autopsy conducted on Jodian, Jodian Ferron today shows that she died from heart failure. Ms. Ferron's ordeal came to national light on Friday through a TVJ exclusive report from Kirk Wright. The young woman, who would have turned 24 yesterday, died over the weekend, hours after giving birth at the Spanish Town Hospital. Now, she was refused care at the University and Victoria Jubilee Hospitals after she showed symptoms similar to those displayed by a COVID-19 patient, but she subsequently tested negative for the disease. Now, Kirk Wright has been following the issue and now tells us the very latest. After revealing the autopsy results that Jodian Ferron died from a hole in the heart, the pathologist, Dr. Jeff DeFord, says her death could have been avoided if proper protocols were followed. And this death is a result of the breakdown of those protocols. If they had been followed, then she would still be alive today. But Dr. Ford says what's even more shocking is the manner in which Jodian died. She died alone. She died on the floor of the ICU at the University Hospital, and she died alone. Dr. Ford questioned the reason for her being asked to be transferred from the Andrews Memorial Hospital since, in his words, it was known she was suffering from a severe medical condition. It does not help you. It does not help that all of these problems were identified. All of these problems were known. To be fair to the doctors, they tried to get help. But when protocols break down, that is when you have death. And this is what has occurred in this instance. I should tell you, the attorney pointed out to me that it wasn't smooth sailing today. He said they had problems before the autopsy started. Yes, there was a hurdle. First of all, when they wanted to start the post-mortem this morning, the reports and the, the, the docket, the medical doc was not here. And so we had to make some calls. Before that, they wanted to proceed, but said that the family's pathologist could not look at the dockets. And of course, he objected and he called me. On what grounds did they say that he couldn't see the dockets? The grounds is that it is the... the the medical report belongs to the respective hospitals and because of client privilege, he cannot look on it. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.